Hi, this is Angela DeLost, and I am excited to teach you how to place your idea show orders. So let's get started. I want you to go to your account. So you're going to log in right here to members only. So go ahead and log in. Now you'll want to have a little bit of information in front of you when you get started. The first thing you want to have in front of you, of course, is all the order tickets from all the guests that you're at your idea show, along with all payment, making sure that all payment is in either the bank or you have their credit card and things like that. The first place that I want you to visit before you even place your order. Now, you should have done this prior to the idea shows that you held. However, if you skipped this step, let's go ahead and do that right now. Always visiting the news you can use section. So go ahead and click on that. And I want you to click on the stock report. And then I want you to click on the one that is most recent. And you're going to pull this up. Now I'm going to show it to you in a document form like this. I just download mine every week. The stock report updates each and every Monday. So you'll always want to look at it on Monday and go ahead and print it and bring it to each and every idea show you have. So that way, when you do have an order for something that might not be available because it's out of stock right now, you can go ahead and tell that guest at your show when it is expected in. So I want to briefly explain this report to you. Right here, you see up here, you're going to always see the stop sell list. That really means stop selling it because these items are either retired or for some reason not available right now and you will not be able to put them on an order as you're placing your order. So completely stop selling these until it either comes back in stock. For instance, this one um, is to be announced. This one, Dream Believe Sign Set, will be early August. So at some point, these two will come back. However, the other ones are retired. Um, so you will not be able to get those um, ever. So keep that in mind. So you don't want to sell any of these items at your idea shows. Okay, so now let's go to the next section. This is your back order and samples. Now, back orders mean items that are truly on back order and they will come in and it gives you an ETA when. Samples are items that you can order at a deeper discount than your regular discount. 25% is your regular the deeper discount is 40. You order those on a sample supply order. But I want to let you know that the shipping is very, very high on those orders. So technically, even though it says it's giving you 40%, it's truly not because the shipping is high. Another thing that I want to let you know is when you order samples, and you order them on the sample supply order, you will receive no sales credit whatsoever. So for your new rep rewards, your jump start, trip points, and so on. So it is your decision whether you want to order samples, and that's just samples of whatever product is available to order as a sample. It's your decision if you want to order that on a sample supply order, or you just want to put it on a idea show order. So I'm just going to tell you what Angela does. Idea show order all the way. I'm still getting my discount of 25%, and I'm earning host credit for free products, and I'm receiving trip points, new rep rewards when that program's into play for somebody new, obviously. And then also, you know, your jump start and whatever might be going on incentive-wise that has anything to do with the sales volume that you're putting in every month. If it's on an idea show, you're going to get credit for it. If it's on a sample supply order, you are not. So keep that in mind. Now, these are all the items, and as you can see, this one is dated for Monday, July 27th. So these are all the items that are on the back order list, and I want to explain these dates to you. So when you see something like bubble glass display hurricane, hair hurricane, do you see that? It says late August. That doesn't mean that it's going to be back in stock and available for you. I mean, it's available for you to order, but it doesn't mean it's going to ship late August to you if it's ordered now and then on back order or so on. What it means is they're expecting it in their warehouse late August, and then they inspect everything. So that could take up to a week, and then they need to stock the shelves and things like that. So you might be looking at a week or two window. So when it says late August, it doesn't really mean late August. It very well means...
I'm sorry, a week or two later. I had something stuck in my throat. Uh, it means a week or two later in most um, cases. Also, ETA means estimate. Estimate time arrival. So that late August could change to early August, which would be a blessing. However, it could also change to early September. So it is your responsibility as a representative of Signature Homestyles to constantly check this report as it updates on Monday. Another thing is is that you'll always want to keep your guests, customers, and hosts fully aware when they have a back order. So for instance, the tie on chalkboard ties, um, it's expected early August, so you're talking mid to late August before she'll receive them if it was on back order. So let her know that and constantly update her. Every Monday you should be updating everyone that has a back order with you and let them know if they do not wish to wait. They don't have to wait. They can receive a credit toward, you know, so say these are $12. So they can call 1-800-800-5452 and ask customer service to substitute something else equal or, or, or about the same value as what they ordered and then that back order will go away and they'll get a product that's actually in stock. Now we do currently have over 700 items in the line. About 85 to 90% are always in stock. So don't look at this list and worry about it. Again, it's up to you to keep people updated. For example, Angela wants a It's a Wonderful Life sign. It has been on back order for the last two weeks and it's not expected till early August. So I probably won't have it in my hands till the third, fourth week of August as long as this ETA doesn't change. But I'm good with that. I'm good with waiting for it because why? Because I want it. So as long as you're, you know, communicating with your hosts, with your customers, you should be perfectly fine. So this in front of you as you're placing your order is a huge big deal. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to go on to your account and I want you to scroll down here. Now the week of July 27th, 500, um, 500 representatives every single day will be um, opened, this order entry pad will be opened for them to practice their orders. Now if you're watching this beyond the week of July 27th, just ignore the part I'm talking about. So um, if you're watching this video and it is Monday, July 27th, and your order entry pad has not been opened yet, it will be by the end of the week. Please check the email and the post that I posted in Angela's Arboretum for your account number and the date and day of the week that your order entry pad will be activated. So we're going to go right here, click on order entry, pretty simple. These are, these are some pretty simple steps. Now you can see I have a lot of different um, shows going on, but what are you going to want to do? Uh, enter new show. So we're going to go ahead and click right there. That was pretty simple and easy. Now we're going to do a show date. So I'm just going to pick a date and I'll pick July. And, and again, you're, you're not going to just pick these dates. These would be real. Uh, I just want to train you. So we're going to do July 29th, 2015. And we're going to say it's an evening show. And I'm just going to call this one an online show, okay? However, you do have the choice. It's a live show, catalog show, an online show, or your grand opening. So you will be using that at some point. So there we go. Now right here, you're going to put the host name. And you can already see I'm kind of pretty populated. I am using Firefox on this particular one, which does save my information. So that's a good thing. So I don't have to retype everything. However, I do want to let you know that this system that you're working off of doesn't have an address book. So it's not going to pre-populate any of these fields for you. And you will have to type the information for you. Alternative shipping address. You only fill out this area if you're shipping somewhere other than the hostess information. So that was simple. So we're going to put that information in. Skip this if you're not shipping to anything else. Now you can select a host, and this is what you created on your website. So it's, it's really the, the back office of your website that is a completely different training. But let's say you know what you're doing, and you did do that. You can go ahead and do this. Just click on this and select a host. Allow this to think just for a second. And there we go. We have a little pop-down menu that comes up. And it will pull whatever you whatever 
show this is related to that you already registered an idea show on your website with, you can go ahead and pull that information into here. So I'm not going to do it because I don't need to do it for this one. However, that's how you do it. It's very simple and easy. And then what do you think we should do? Oh, next step. Pretty simple. All right. So there we go. Now we're at the next step. This is our show number. Now this show number, it's really important if this is your grand opening party, as soon as you see this show number, please give it to whoever is helping you with your go show. She needs this show number because she's going to receive trip points for helping you with your grand, uh, with your go show. Um, so make sure you give her this number. All right. So that's simple and easy. This is our hostess, which is me. It can be you. You're allowed to be your own host. No problem at all. But in most situations, this will be your actual hostess, which is not you. So right here, add a new guest. So we're just going to go ahead and add a new guest. That's pretty simple. What's that guest name? We're just going to keep using Angela. How does that sound? And then I do need to enter Angela's address. Even though maybe you're shipping to the hostess, the reason you're going to enter it here is let's say there is a back order. And I want to I wanna address this. Do you see how I have to type this again? Again, there's no, it's, it's not going to save your information. So you do need to retype each and every time, even though maybe this customer has shopped from you, you know, 1,000 times. Um, it doesn't matter. You have to type it. Now, next year, January of 2016, you will be, this will automatically populate. Um, there will be an address book, in other words, um, hopefully. Okay, so we put the guest information, and the reason we're doing that, even though she might have it shipped to the hostess, is because if she does have back orders, those back orders will automatically ship to the guest, not to the hostess. So we're going to go ahead and click Save Address. Very important that you click this. So it's going to save the address right there. Now, so let's continue to scroll down to right here. It says Quantity, and then we're going to just go ahead and type the order. So Quantity 1, WD486. And then quantity one, and then the item number NT297, and then quantity one, whoops, sorry, uh, PW36, whoops, 364. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and add the items. Now, at this point, once you get those items uh, populated in these fields, if there is a monthly promotion, it does qualify, see it says right here, for a monthly promotion, please select from the drop-down box. So right here, I can go ahead and choose this promotion. Um, you do need to know the item number for the promotion, um, which you will. It's right in the catalog. And that is that classic mini organizer. It is the one that is for the warm blankets, uh, warm blanket or orphans. And um, so it comes up $11. Now that $11, $1 goes to the warm blankets. The other $10, your host, so whoever is appearing here as your host, hostess, she's going to receive full credit for the sales amount of $10. Because remember, a dollar is going away. You, as the rep, are going to make your full commission on the $10 once that um, dollar goes away. So that's a really good thing. So that is that order. Now, if this particular guest paid you with a credit card, just right over here, you're going to slide right over here. You're going to select MasterCard. Go ahead and type in her card number along with the expiration date. Now, very important that you understand in this section, when you're at an idea show, she says, Angela, can I pay half cash, half credit card? The problem is this credit card has to be this amount, period. You can't adjust prices, things like that. Whatever this is, this needs to be. And you can't split the payment. She can't use two credit cards. One. One credit card, one payment. So whatever payment you pick, that's what you need to do. Now, in a little while, I am going to be posting on Angela's Arboretum an app called Square. Now, Square allows you to collect the credit cards, and you can collect Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, and you can collect those right at your idea shows. And when you're new at Square, they'll allow you free processing up to a certain amount. So if you're interested in doing that, just click on the link that I provide and sign up for Square, and that will allow you to avoid this area, okay? 
So just make sure you understand one payment method here. Now, if she paid you, whoopsie, um, if she paid you cash, you just skip this. If she, check, skip this. I mean, you're going to pay for the whole order at the end anyway if there's no credit cards involved. Now, let's look up here a little bit. Would like to host a show. Yep, she's going to be a booking. Yay. And then the show date we're going to say is um, August. 15, 2015. Okay. Um, would she like to become a rep? Well, she probably does, but we are on a recruiting freeze right now, so you can't, you can't, um, you know, you can't do that. Um, so that's about as simple it is and easy as it is. So there's all that information. It goes ahead and gives you the total of shipping, shipping and handling ten dollars and twenty five cents. This is being shipped to the host. Also, the tax eight dollars and eleven cents. Now. The 811, the sales tax, sales tax is charged on the total purchase, so that's these items, along with the shipping, so that's this 1025 charge, and that's how they have the 811, and you can see mine calculates at 8.25%. So when you're done with that, we're just going to go ahead and go to the next order. Pretty simple and easy. And then you would go ahead and add the next guest, which is, oh, guess what? Also Angela Deluxe. So I'm going to go ahead and populate that real quick, and I'm not going to bore you with putting the address in, so we'll skip that part. Okay, so I went ahead and put the address in. Now I'm going to stop here because I really want to show you this. Now this one is going to be a direct ship, meaning it's going to directly ship to this particular guest. So it's really important right here. See this? Check that box. Ship order directly to guest at this address. Ready? Save address. So now this one's going to go direct ship. Now at this point, you're going to go ahead and add her orders. So we're going to go ahead and type in the item numbers of each and every item that she'd like. So we have all the items in there. And anytime there is some kind of customer special, and it qualifies, you'll always see that message that you've seen before along with um, these drop down menus. So, this particular um, customer or guest is not going to choose that. Another thing that you want to know is um, they could shop on your outlet sale, which is on the website. So, let me show you. When you're on your website, it's right over here outlet sale. There's 23 items currently on that sale. It's updated around the 15th each and every month. So you can go through here and pick and choose what you want, or they can pick and choose what they want. And it could be ordered right on your idea show. It does not need to be ordered through the website. Another thing is your host can also receive any of this as her free or half off. So this particular customer, which by the way is Angela, uh, wants this throw that is discounted to $28 and you can, whoopsie, you can clearly see it's right there. So, um, so it can be ordered right there. No, simple and easy. And then now remember how we said this was a direct ship? Well, direct ships do need to be paid in advance. So down here, it's, it's really not going to submit this order unless it's paid for. So when you're at an idea show and they say, I want to ship directly to my home, they have to pay with uh, credit cards. So Discover, MasterCard, or Visa, whether it's debit or credit, it has to have one of these logos. So, so this person is going to go ahead and pay. This person is Angela. Uh, pay with her card. So let me go ahead and put my card information in. Okay, so now all my card information is in, so that would be hers, and uh, we're going to go ahead and add the next guest. So, really simple and easy to do. So now I'm going to add the next guest. Okay, all the information for the next guest is in, along with all the item numbers, but look at this guest qualifies for the monthly promotion, and yes, she's going to go ahead and add it on. So pretty simple and easy to do. Now, as you're looking at this, I want to also let you know that this total that you see up here is including tax and shipping. So this isn't your show total. Also, keeping in mind that a qualified show is a minimum of three guest order and two, three guest order, your host order, and $200 in sales. So keep that in mind. Now I want you to look down here. Notice right here the burlap ribbon orange. Well, Angela has been paying attention to the stock report and it's right here, burlap ribbon orange. It is coming in next week. 
if for some reason I did not tell that customer already that I would at this point send her a message. I'm very good about getting everyone's cell phones and I do that so I can easily send a message and I would just say, Angela, I wanted to let you know your burlap ribbon is on back order. They are expecting it. I'm not going to say next week because whatever I told you, it says it will be at signature next week, but it could take up to another one to two weeks. So I would let her know that the burlap ribbon orange is on back order and I would expect it in approximately three weeks. However, sometimes those dates change, but I will keep her updated weekly until that item arrives and keep it nice and simple as that. So you can easily do that. Now, this particular guest also wants to have a show because I'll tell you what, everyone wants to have a show. You can ask on our Angela's Arboretum on Facebook. Bookings are not a problem. All your leaders have been doing shows. And, uh, but yeah, not a problem. Everyone seems to love it. I mean, who doesn't love over 700 selections of beautiful items that are going to make your home look beautiful. They're going to get you all organized. They're going to add that splash of color. I'm, who doesn't love it? I love it. So, yay. Okay, so that's going to complete our guest. So, instead of adding add new guest, now remember, if she would have paid credit cards, we're going to pay... We're going to put our information in here, and it has to be this exact amount. Only one, one credit card, not three in this area, okay? One credit card per guest. If she did not pay credit card, cash, or check, you just skip this area, and we're going to go ahead to the next step. Now, the next step is your host order, okay? Now, it always kicks me out, and I'm not really sure why, so we'll just deal with it. I'm going to go right back into that show. Really simple. And then we're just going to keep going. Um, on the bottom here, do you see that? Uh, next step, next step, next step. So let's do that. Now we're on the host order screen. So let's just kind of look at this before we get started. Um, over here is where we're going to go ahead and put all of the, you know, things that she wants in. Um, over here, we already know she just had a show, but if she wants another one, go ahead and put her in. Right here, if this would have been your grand opening show. Okay, or if you re ever receive a host certificate, for example, if you go to any of the upcoming meetings that Carrie or Madeline will be at, each and every person will receive a host certificate for $50. You take that certificate number, so let's say it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're going to type it in right there. Um, this, this doesn't apply to that at this point. And then also the amount you want to use of that certificate, which is $50 if you go to one of those meetings. And then you go ahead and add the certificate. It's pretty simple to do. I do have some other training on how to do that. Also, your grand opening party certificate will need to be here. And in that one, you will need to write go show. Um, but again, I have training, so don't worry about that so much. Now, we are going to um, go ahead and get all of your host free in here. So we're just going to go ahead and start typing in quantity, item number. So let me go ahead and get started doing that. Okay, so I have now populated all these fields. I really just put the quantity and item number. These are all of the selection my host wants, which is Angela. Anyway, some of these are on back order, letting, again, letting that host know that they are. If she wants to change her selection now, she can. If she wants to change her selection at a later date, she could do that as well, so no worries. Now, because she had this particular show had three orders and the host order here in $200 in sales, this month of promotion is a host choice promotion. So. That's always found down here. She'll qualify for half off items and hostess special. So we're going to add that. Now look at this. She qualifies for two items at half off because of her sales. She also received two bookings on this show. So she's going to get a half off item for each one of those bookings. So she totally qualifies for four half off items. She can use them if she wants. She doesn't have to. Over here, this item, select one. There's only one to select right now. Host choice. So we're going to go ahead and add that item. It is 
she can receive $100 worth of products for $40. So we're going to go ahead and add it, and then you'll see it over here. Calculate total purchases $138. So it's all of this equals $138. Earned free product $140. It's the $40 she received on the $200, and it's the $100 in in items that she received for the $40. Now, this would have only been $20 if there was 10 to 14 orders associated with this show, but there was only three, so it's $40. If there were 15 or more orders associated with this show, this would have been a zero total, all right? So once that's all in there, that's fine. Again, if she added, if she wants half off, you just put them right here. Also, your host always qualifies for any uh, customer special, so I'll go ahead and add that here. Now, I, Angela, will not necessarily encourage that because she can always get those specials, you know, at her bookings. So uh, she could get the classic mini organizer set. However, keep in mind that that is uh, with a $40 purchase, so you want to make sure that... Um, I, I mean, you can do it on this. It's not a big deal. However, I want to make sure that those are at, as a customer or guest at a show. That's just how I want to do it. Because I don't want my host just spending a ton of money when she has her show. I want her to just reap the benefits of as much free and discounted products as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that for now. All right. So this is all your totals on the side for your hostess. She received $138 or used out of her incentives. She earned $140, now keeping in mind that really cost her $40, so um, less what she, her totals here, which is $138, now I know there's $2 left there, there's nothing I could do about it. If there were certificates that would have been up here, like for instance your Go Show, or if you ever have a host certificate, it would be here, um, and then so on, and then it just does the math. Now, this is the total because of this. That's how much she's actually spending. You are They are taxed on the full total purchases up here. So that's the 138. It's right there. All hostesses pay shipping and handling. The maximum they'll ever pay is $11.75. Even if she would have earned $500 in product up here, she'd still only pay $11.75. And then the tax is tax, uh, she is taxed on the 138 and the 11.75. So keep that in mind. So her total tax is 12.35. So this particular host will be paying the 40 because she chose to. She doesn't have to take that. It's a hundred dollars worth of product for 40. So she has charged that, and then the shipping, and then the tax. So it's about, it's you know, it's not about. It is 64 dollars and 10 cents that she'll owe. And you want to make sure you collect payment. If she gave you a credit card, it would go right here. And then you go to next step. So, so far, pretty darn simple. So now it always, it does bring me back to this page always. So I'm not sure why that glitch is in the system, how it brings you back there. But in the future, when you're doing this, instead of allowing it to bring you back, if it does, you literally have to go skip, skip, skip. Or you could do something as easy as go right here, final review. Just go ahead and click on final review. And this is where you pay for the remainder of your show. So again, those that paid with credit card, it's just going to be paid right here. Um, whatever the balance is, and you can clearly see right here, it's $271.40. You would pay right here. You cannot use your checks or cash or anything debit or credit, Visa, MasterCard, Discover you can use. You can send in a check or a money order. However, you know, you're talking a week or two delay for this show to be processed, so don't do that. You use your debit or credit, credit card. So you go ahead and put that information and pay for the rest and submit that show. Once it's submitted, it is submitted. You cannot change your mind. Now, you know I'm not going to submit this, because um, I, don't, I don't want to submit this show. So once you do submit your, submit your shows, you can always check the progress of each and every one of your shows. Before I get there, you know, 
I'm, I'm just going to reiterate a couple more things. Let's pretend we really submitted it, okay? You can easily see that show that you submitted down here. Um, it's going to show up down here at some point. Um, these were a bunch of Facebook shows I did. So right here, you would just go ahead and click on the show number. And then you see all the information, when it was held, the amount of sales, what the host ordered, what all the guests ordered. Like this one is direct ship. I'm very much into direct ship. Um, so on and so forth. So you will be able to... Um, you know, get to that information just by going under order entry once it's submitted and it will show here. All right. So that's one way you're going to find it. Also, you're going to want to make sure that you keep track of these back orders. It's very simple and easy to do. If you want to make sure you keep track of the shipping. So you're going to go skip down to business tools here. And I want you to go to Shipment Inquiry. This is where you're going to find out. Oh, and then you'll get an internal error. All right, hold on. Okay, so we have Shipment Inquiry. Just go ahead and click on that. And these are all the shipments Angela's had. So right here, two different ways to click this. The first one here, show number, this is going to show you where uh, tracking, UPS tracking information. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, go ahead and wait for it to populate, and there you go. Like you can see, this is uh, these are direct ship orders. I can go ahead and click on that link, and I can see it was delivered on Friday. Yay, here's another direct ship order. This was also delivered on Friday, and here's the final, which was me, um, was delivered. I don't even know. It was delivered on Friday as well. So yay. So that's where you find the tracking information. Now, you this right here, this is the host name. You will receive information on back orders here once once the show ships. Do you see how this is blue here and this? These are called hyperlinks. If it's if there's no hyperlink there, it hasn't shipped yet, but once it ships, you will get a hyperlink and this is important for you to keep track of. So we're going to scroll down here. And we're going to look at this particular order. Now, this is the same show. Um, starting with the host order, she ordered It's a Wonderful Life sign. It's on back order. And the uh, Words to Live By, back order, Fall Blocks, back order. One of the guests that was a direct ship, uh, Burlap Ribbon, is on back order. So what's going to happen here, this report right here, this show right here, it is your job to continue to go to shipment inquiry all right so that's the first thing once there is a hyperlink click on that and what happens is once that changes status okay so pretend it's a wonderful life is now back in stock at the home office however it hasn't shipped but it's truly in the business in the business oh, in the building this will not say is on back order. It will say in uh, progress, okay? Or let's say it shipped. Like it's a wonderful life. Finally shipped. It will say shipped. So that you need to continue to go to the same thing all the time because different information will be here um, once that item is in the warehouse again or once that item ships. That will change here. So. Let's look at another one of Angela's to see if anything changed. I don't think it has. Um, no, these are still back ordered, so I don't have any other information yet. All, um, I do have some back orders right now, and right now I don't. Nothing has shipped um, as far as my back order list. But I was hoping something did. Oh, yay! It did. Look at this. I want all I want is peace sign. Okay, if you don't know what this is. Let me tell you. It's like all I want for all I want is peace, love, and happiness and a chocolate bar as big as my head. So that's what that is. So what happened here just a few days ago, this just said is back ordered. This now says back order in progress. So it is back in stock at, at the warehouse and will be shipping to me soon. So that that's nice. This is our happy place sign, it's still on back order as you can see, and then also the box of happiness um, is on back order. So there you go. That's all I have for you. I hope this really helped to you place your orders. I do ask um, if you get stuck, contact your sponsor or your leader first. 
if she gets stuck, she'll contact her leader and so on. Um, please, again, please contact your leader, each and every one of them know how to do these orders. So happy selling. You'll get used to it. No worries. Remember what our goal is in the month of August, 1,000 ideas shows submitted in this area. So, you know, whether it's you all by yourself going to do 1,000 or going to work as a team here, we're going to submit 1,000 idea shows for Angela's Arboretum. So have a great day. And again, let your leader know if you have any questions.